I kind of went into this final table with a strong expectation or win or bust. So it's to me, it's win or bust. Obviously, we're going to play good, solid poker. Anything other than win, I think I'll be pretty disappointed. Unless I have like 10 bigs and it's like a four by all in and we somehow get heads up. Then we're pretty content with second. Uh, all in here with ace queen squeezing versus this player and mysteries call. Uh, we've spun up a bit of a stack here in the 300. It's a juice magoose. So. Oh, wow. He called nines. Nice. Holy shnikes. 16 big blind open jam. A f***ing giganit rejams. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, Jax is cool. Big all in. That's a king. Cool. All right. Well, that sucks. We've got 10 big blinds in this. Well, that is stinky poopy. We're going to be all in and at risk here with Ace King. Shouldn't expect a fold from either player. Sure. All right, 25 bigs. Bit of a rebate. All right, we're going to ram into Timmy here. I say gamble. How big my bounty is, I expect him to make some calls. That's a good flop. And he's drawing dead on the turn. Very lucky. Hmm. Man, this is what we're supposed to do. But I mean, he still raised calls worse than ASEX. I hate my life. Oh my god, we got very, very lucky. We got very, 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 very lucky. Alright, hopefully he doesn't have uh, Ace-9 or 10-8 or 8-5. We have a very good hand right now. And we're going to continue to value bet. Alright, playing for all of it. We're playing for all of it. Dealer! Big spot here. He can call plenty worse. doesn't okay big pot still gets shipped our way all right we're gonna check raise here with our <clears throat> air bases uh, okay gg tim Big pot goes our way. That was a huge one. In general, we don't peel this. But I think in this lineup of players, it's fine. Can't really make a colossal mistake with these guys. You can't get cooler, that's for sure, but... Alright. Normally, big blind doesn't squeeze. And then... L. Alright, well... Whoa! What is this? Whoa! We're gonna have a new chip lead? Are we going to have a new chip leader? No. Well, if Big, if, if Big Line calls, yes. What a savage spot. He covers both. Ace King, Ace King. Okay, peeled Ace King multi way there. Ah, right, gonna defend Ace Five and probably check fold. They check back and forth. Hmm. Hmm. Check. Okay. Check. Ah, oh, I mean, this is a... I mean, unless they have ace-king. Or, like, queen-ten. Yeah, we should be able to get that one through. Alright, making a wide peel here with the 9-7 of diamonds. We are very deep. <clears throat> very deep. And because of it, I'm going to go ahead and call. However, on a queen-queen-8, I don't think we'll do anything cool. I don't think we'll be doing anything cool. <clears throat> hmm. I think if this was heads up, I'd try to bluff someone. I think I'm in a bitch here, though. Okay. I guess we'll click call here. I mean, no one really three bets behind. Not about flop. All right, decent spot for us to apply some pressure on is more likely to be 
overcard, two overcards type deal. I I wouldn't want a big bet if I thought he would ever have check jams, but I don't think he will. I guess he just has like pocket eights or something, which is kind of shitty. He's just gonna snap there. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, he got eliminated. I didn't even see how, but I think J20... No, no, um... Yoshi got him. Okay, mystery check calls. I'm gonna value bet my jack on the turn here. I bet really, really tiny. He's gonna have a lot of draws. Okay. All right, here's hoping he doesn't have an ace. He probably does. Yeah. Oh, it's so f***ing crazy because he just doesn't defend enough. Okay, we just get dealt aces. Is this the spin-up that we've been waiting for? It's interesting because no one behind is really 3-betting, so... I don't actually expect any action, other than like a flat. Oh, wow. Massive one. Fade and three. Huge! Holy sh**. Two away from a day two final table. Dusty is eliminated. We are final table bubble. One away. Okay, aces again. Aces again. Oh my god. Okay. Just getting absolutely gifted some spots here. We knock out the biggest bounty in the tournament. The $1,300 bounty. Bang. Sends us to the final table. Bang. Bang. We got gifted two spots with aces. Just absolutely gifted. Wow, wee wow. All right. And that's it. Congratulations. You have made the final table. It was a pretty good final table, I'm going to be honest. What have we locked up? We've locked up 2400 in bounties, $1,100 in prize pool. Uh, this is a good spot, especially when you get dealt aces and then they shove into you. There's no sun running more like that. That was it. Stay tuned tomorrow, 7 p.m. EST. What, 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 what's going on? We're live. 20 minute blind levels too, so we got a lot of playtime in this one. This FT alone could be about like four hours. Um, since we have a table of less aggressive players, I'm gonna go for the call instead of three bet. Interesting, comes out with the three bet. They're pretty deep, and this is a small enough three bet with this out there. Um I think we flop two sixes here. Flop diamonds are our theme, I guess. It was ultra tiny. I feel like his Ace King suited might have sized up. Like his flush combos might have sized up a bit. Pre flop. Dog, I got a straight flush. <laughs> I have a straight flush. I guess we just go. The board pairs. I think he just has like. Mm. Like, I see the Eight of Diamonds and I instinctively think, man, that sucks. But that was actually pretty wild. What up, Lifted? 62 months. Alright, let's see here. A6 suited, bet small flop. I mean, if I'm gonna double bear here, I kinda wanna have a bit more equity. But we did bet really tiny on the foot. We do beat some stuff though, do we? I don't actually know how this guy plays, but I think I'll just knit check and figure out how passive he may or may not be playing post flop. I'm familiar with a couple of the players that we had prior to the final table. Like one, two, these three. Uh these five I don't really know. Like these four I'd never played with before. Or at least I've never tagged. These might just be old hands that I have on them. 
deep in the tank. Debating a 10? Eights. Ah, oh, that might have folded to a turn, but... Okay, he has a massive bounty. In the big, off of 10 bigs. I think we're fine getting away with a little wide open here. In this instance. I mean, him flatting, if he jams, I'm actually just going to muck. Alright, this might seem nitty, but like, I'm facing a very, very narrow, tight range. And he doesn't always, like, reveal himself in terms of hand strength. Like, normally people might bet 8s or 9s or 10s on the turn, but I don't think he will. Okay, yeah, I think we just beat, like, Ace-Queen. Dumb question, Pat, but I've been playing since COVID online and never played live. Honestly, man, people aren't that bad. Like, there's some, like, table pro type people that might, like, oh, you can't do that or stuff like that, but most of the time people are fine. Okay, wait, here we go. We have an all-in for a shorty. Uh, 8 7 suited. Clicking the call here. Big line calls. It's a dry side, and I don't think he's going to try to bluff me off it, because I've done some of these with him before. I don't think 8-7 is going to be beating him, so I don't think there's much equity to, like, making him fold some shit. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy. Ace-9, 9-3. Wow, he overcalled 9-3. Shit. So far, it's been an easy game. We get good hands, and they win. I don't expect to get Brooklyn back jammed. Okay, I mean, that's an interesting flop. Okay, I mean, we just B15 these. I guess if he check jams, he sometimes does have... Um, hmm. I went really tiny, so he does just have... All right, I guess we just have to bet call if he check jams. Nice. All right. Not a bad flop. I think given the SPR, I don't know if I necessarily want to keep double barreling here. We did bet tiny, so it does keep his range wide. It's not a big deal. Four on the river. Yeah, just under half. We're just going to have to click call. King five. Okay. Could have been a bluff. Could have been a value bet. Wow. Yeah, this is a board you don't really need to bet too big to take this one down. This clears out a lot of the Broadway combos right here, right now. Now you see me be pretty aggressive versus people. But I'm going to knit up versus mystery, I think. But if he checks this river... Alright, you've seen me be very, very aggressive, but... I kind of know when, I, I when I'm going to get heroed, and that felt like one of those spots where if I didn't double barrel... Probably can just muck. Image, image check. I want to throw my image. Alright, we're gonna throw about the ace nine here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ace queen suited. No hands off. Ace four suited. Another premium. Okay. We're keeping the ace in our sleeve. I don't I don't think we've given it back yet. Might as well just play the fing aces the aces sound bite, because we keep getting dealt an ace. Another one. No. Image fold. Okay, opened up a six here. Hmm. 
Alright, we'll check back the ace six on queen ten eight. Um, I'm fine taking this one to showdown. Quacks. Okay. Normally in spots like that, if you go to showdown, you're probably beat. But I feel like I'm gonna get underbluffed. Okay, we're hunting for our first bounty of the final table. I don't know if we go for two, if he calls. I don't think we go for two. We might, might not be a problem. Need a three or five. There's shop outs there. We could hit a four, a deuce. We like when the middling stacks redistribute the wealth to the shorter stacks. Uh, if Zanny takes it, we will be all in. We'll call. All right. First reasonable bounty hunt, queen eight. Fun flop. Eight on the turn. Our first elimination of the final table, we pick up the $1,100 bounty and the floodgates are open. No longer are people fighting for the first pay jump. Okay, pocket tens, this is a pretty one. Okay, Joe three bets me, I think. I think I'm just gonna four bet GM on him. Need to get a 10, okay, we just have zero percent. I mean, if we four bet small, he calls, I bet small. I mean, it's kind of just shitty right now. Good time to pick up aces. I just want to dissuade people from thinking they can price themselves into hunt for this bounty. I would need a nine or an eight. Nope. All right, he's still alive with 4.7 big blinds. No biggie. Still just going to call here. I do know he does hunt a bit wide, but I don't think he's going to go crazy wide. Seven or a six. Yeah, we don't win that one. That one's a bit wide, but he can't really do anything. All right, this is how we get our chips back. Or not. Looks like we're just going to raise and take it. All right, ace four, ten eight. Sure, king? No. Okay, we are... Unable to get some of these smaller pots. Yoshio with the preflop call. I'm gonna start with a check and a call. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna selectively bet a little bit smaller here. Just so I can get a tur cheaper turn card. Also, we can get some value for some smaller pocket pairs and 10x if he has like King 10, Queen 10. Maybe he's got an ace and he would have bet 50%, but now just clicks call. Check. Check back eights. I don't think I'm gonna hear a few bets. No, I don't want to hear. Okay. Is this the time where we finally get him? Is the fourth time the charm? It is. Full house. We're down to six. With that sixth, seventh place elimination, we are locked up 2,600 prize pool. We made $3,700 bounties. All right, six handed. Don't think he's raising as a bluff. Okay, kings, ace king. Red, red. We're not winning our all ins on this FT. Okay, I really don't want to lose this one. Magic not folded just yet. Magic hasn't folded yet. Could be going three ways here. No. Heads up, Ace King. Jack? Green? Jack? For the love of fucking God. Let's go up in two and a half minutes. It's going to be a very substantial blind level increase. Hmm. Hmm. This is like a weird one where like all three of them are pretty tight. So getting a two pair isn't like some like super sexy spot. Am I just gonna get punished here? Okay, aces. 
Can we rebuild our chat stack a bit? Maybe we should have just bet two bigs on the flop. I should have just went two bigs on the flop. I mean, it's a pretty substantial blind level increase. I'm just gonna do what my hand wants to do. And make him fold his like jack, queen, king eyes. Some of his ace eyes. I just don't see him trapping preflop. Don't have pocket threes? King nine. Wow, I didn't think he'd peel that wide either. I mean, I've played a lot of poker with him and I don't think he'd be peeling a nine. Okay. We can't win pots normally, so let's just win with aces, huh? God, I please God three of at me, please no. Ugh, okay. Alright, we've been relegated to a uh an average stack spot here. Without giving reads, this is like this is a hilarious final table spot still. Still very comfortable. Not a big deal, despite this massive setback. I'm just trying to avoid getting coolered. I mean, I think you'll notice, like, the vast majority of hands these guys are tabling are aces. Like, I don't I don't think you guys have ever seen them table anything crazy, right? I mean, that King-9 suited peel from him was not something I expected. Okay, we have a full house here. We have the second nuts. Um, I don't think he's going to end up raising flushes. Let's do his B50 and hope he continues his one diamond stuff. So. Let's still check raise flushes here on the turn, but... I mean, I do have the biggest bounty in the tournament and he does cover. This could be a spot to redeem our chip stack here. I don't think he's bluffing, but we have such an invulnerable hand. I don't see the point on raising. We lose to Queen Jack and Jack 6. Jack 6, I don't think so. Queen Jack, very, very possible. But I, I think it would check raise flop, not turn. Just stone air ball bluffs it. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't expect that 10 out of 10 times. All right. We're back in the driver's seat. We're back in the driver's seat. I mean, if he's peeling king nine suited there in the small blind, he might have a bit wider of a peeling range off of 12. All right. Turn check. River check. I'm not hearing him. We're not hearing mystery. How's it possible? So many aces. Dude, this whole table has been aces, 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 aces. I think all five, all five of the, all six of us. No, yeah, yeah, all six of us have doubled up with aces on this final table. Doubled up with aces, doubled up with aces, doubled up with aces, doubled up with aces, doubled up with aces. I think everyone here has doubled up with aces on this FT. And I had two major, like, aces spot pre-final table. Everyone that made it to this final table or on the, stayed on this final table has gotten aces pre-flop and it held. If Yoshio jams... I think we'd have to call. I was going to call the check shove here. We've got top bear. Show him the king. Let him know. What a hilarious final table this has been so far. I'm really glad we doubled up with Jack for it. Okay. Hunting. Ace Jack suited. Ace King. Spade. Ten. I don't know. F yeah, we can't drop. Ace. Eight. Okay. Ace King. If you can't beat Ace King. Okay. We're going to try to beat him again. This time we are dominating him. Fade it. This one is an important one. 
fucking heck. All right, we finally send someone home. We're back to 18 million in chips. People could have gone away for like 20 minutes, come back, and they see it's still similar. They're like, oh, nothing must have changed. But fuck me, is this a crazy one? Let's look at the chip graph. Yeah, we were just like winning every pot. Bang, this is easy. Oh my god, what the fuck happened? Okay, we're almost back. They're making me earn it out here. That's what they're doing. I think versus mystery. I, I'm indifferent, but I'll just send. Okay. Fuck. That's annoying. All right. They're making me earn it out here. It's not an easy game. It hasn't been an easy final table. I just haven't gotten good hands and held. I've had to battle. I've had to play a lot of pots. I think my VPIP on this final table is like 80. We're getting a lot of premiums on this FT2. E4 bet champs unfolding. Okay. Big flip. That's a good flop. That's a fun turn. They're, they're really making me earn this one, dude. This is, this is a spectacular final table. Uh, we're just betting twice because we bet 1.1 big. It's very small on the flop, which keeps his range wide. Turn, we're kind of still just getting value from ace highs, as well as just denying equity versus stuff. All right, he's just got a king. That was, uh, yeah, this has been an interesting one so far. It's, to me, it's winner bust. Well, obviously, we're going to play good, solid poker, but uh, yeah, anything other than win, I think I'll be pretty disappointed. Unless I have like 10 bigs and it's like a four by all in and we somehow get heads up. Then we're pretty content with second. I mean, this is, this is kind of my last hurrah at this. Christ. All right, we're done. Yeah, we can't afford to lose two big lines like this anymore. Don't think we can capitalize on the passivity of our opponents. Like we were earlier when we had a bunch of chips. Don't think we can capitalize on it anymore. All right, mystery. <clears throat> All right. Could just check this to start. Nice, finally some fucking momentum. That was a big one. He had a. Oh, there we fucking go. That's such a momentum pot to win there. Get the pot sized river bet through. Okay, we've got two pair here versus Coach. I've had some insane deja vu just now with this. I'm gonna punch air if he check raises here on the turn. I'm gonna fucking I'm throwing I'm throwing fists with God if he check raises here. fold there that is savage all right what a final table lots of excitement a lot of madness ends in an unfortunate result i don't know, just wanted to win it